Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. To share a workbook using the traditional shared workbooks method, track changes, or compare and merge workbooks in newer versions of Excel, you must first add some legacy buttons back into the ribbon or the quick access toolbar for these legacy shared workbook features. These buttons don't appear in the quick access toolbar or ribbon by default in newer versions of Excel. This lesson shows you how to add these missing buttons back into their original locations in the ribbon to help you learn how to use them in the context of their original placement in the Excel application. However, you can also add them to the Quick Access Toolbar if that's easier for you. To add the missing buttons for legacy workbook sharing to the ribbon in newer versions of Excel, click the File tab in the ribbon. Then click the Options command at the left side of the Backstage view to open the Excel Options window. In the Excel Options window, Click the Customize Ribbon command at the left side of the window. The area to the right then lets you customize the ribbon in Excel. The right side of the window shows two lists. The leftmost list, titled Choose Commands From, contains the commands you can add. The rightmost list, titled Customize the Ribbon, shows the current ribbon command button choices. Use the drop-down at the top of the rightmost Customize the Ribbon list to select the Main Tabs choice. This then shows the main tabs in the ribbon in the list below that. Click the small plus sign button to the left of the Review tab in the Customize the Ribbon list to expand it and show that tabs button groups. Make sure the Review tab is highlighted and checked. Then click the New Group button below the list to add a new button group to the Review tab. The name of the New Group Custom should then appear highlighted. When it is, then click the Rename button below the list to open the Rename dialog box. Type the name Changes into the Display Name field in this dialog box, and then click its OK button to close it and rename the button group. Now you will add the missing buttons to the new Changes Custom button group you created. To do this, use the drop-down at the top of the leftmost Choose Commands From list to select the All Commands choice. Then scroll through the commands in the leftmost alphabetically sorted Choose Commands From list to find the Share Workbook Legacy button. Click it to select it in this list. Then click the Add button to its right between the lists to add the selected button into the Changes Custom button group on the Review tab in the rightmost Customize the Ribbon list. Next, scroll through the commands in the leftmost alphabetically sorted Choose Commands From list to find the Track Changes Legacy button. Click it to select it in this list. Then click the Add button to its right between the lists to add the selected button into the Changes Custom button group on the Review tab in the rightmost Customize the Ribbon list. Then scroll through the commands in the leftmost alphabetically sorted Choose Commands From list to find the Compare and Merge Workbooks button. Click it to select it in this list. Then click the Add button to its right between the lists to add the selected button into the Changes Custom button group on the Review tab in the rightmost Customize the Ribbon list. Optionally, if you use the Legacy Workbook Protection feature in conjunction with Legacy Workbook Sharing, you can also scroll through the commands in the leftmost alphabetically sorted Choose Commands From list to find the Protect Sharing Legacy button. Then click it to select it in this list. Then click the Add button to its right between the lists to add the selected button into the Changes Custom button group on the Review tab in the rightmost Customize the Ribbon list. After customizing the ribbon to add the legacy sharing buttons you need, click the OK button in the lower right corner of the Excel Options window to close it and apply your changes. You can then find these buttons by clicking the Review tab in the ribbon and then looking within the Changes button group you created. This is where these buttons used to appear in older versions of Excel, so it should help you learn where they are and how they work when you read older instructions based on their previous ribbon locations. Alternatively, you can also add these older buttons to the Quick Access Toolbar if you prefer. However, you will need to know and remember which button is which if you add them to other custom locations like the Quick Access Toolbar. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www 
www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.